We built a database, Skin Deep, initially to make the case for policy change, but people started coming to it and looking at our ratings for ingredients and, and full products. We started hearing from those people that this was a valuable source of information as they tried to detoxify for themselves a world that the government wasn't helping them to detoxify. We have dozens and dozens of EWG standards, safety standards for drinking water contaminants now. We don't have the force of law behind them, but they're in place. We have our own rating system for personal care products and food and cleaning products. That gives you, I think, the sense that we, we really do want to follow the science. And if the government has not caught up, if industry has not caught up, we're not going to let those norms determine where the goalpost should be. And the goalpost, no surprise, should be health. When you drink water, should it be just a little bit dangerous? No. It should be, it should be health giving, right? If you eat food, should it just be just a little bit of a carcinogen? Just, it's just hardly a little bit of pesticide. No, we don't expect that as consumers, as citizen consumers. We expect that when we drink water and breathe air, buy food, take something home from the drugstore to put on our skin or wash our hair with, that it's safe and it should be. Short of banning uh, Roundup, there's a lot we can do to reduce the exposure and we should be moving the whole agricultural sector in the direction where, yes, there, there's a role for pesticides. We want those pesticides to be much safer than they are now, but none of those pesticides should end up in people. Whether it's farmers or parents or kids or people in a retirement home, we should not have pesticides in people at all. And that should be the goal of agricultural technology now. Unfortunately, it's not. We don't regulate individual chemicals very rigorously and we don't regulate them in combination at all. So if you're taking in multiple chemicals that have multiple effects on your immune system, there's no federal agency that's controlling that or even studying it really. What we're fighting for now is as important as what we're fighting against. And start by fighting for yourself.